Hello, hello, hello guys, it's Shapoopy here, back with another Let's Build. Um, <laughs> I might have let that intro go a little bit longer than usual, just because uh, I'm starting to realize one of my favorite parts of doing these Let's Builds, besides obviously doing the Let's Build, is um, picking out some background music um, uh, to go along with it. and. When I when I came across this, uh, what do they call it? Um, uh, Creative Commons licensed, um, copyright free uh, music. Um, this was like the first thing on the on the site, and it was just so perfect. Uh, but. It, Anyways, what we're building today, guys, um, is a sort of beachfront lake house, and uh, obviously this is not a real thing. You, know, you can't actually build a house on a lake, so I just kind of try and simulated that with um, uh, some fountains and a pool. I believe I think I changed one of the sections into a pool because... Um, I wanted it to actually be able to, like you could actually swim in there. Um, or I might've changed all of them. I can't remember at this moment. This is actually my second time recording this voiceover audio because the first time uh, the audio got corrupted and then it was just a whole thing. And then uh, I was recording and then for some reason my, my video recording actually shut off as well. So that's super annoying, and um, but anyways, I gotta take a, a second uh, whirl at this, and uh, <laughs> yeah, just say everything again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is a, a beachfront uh, lake house, and again, like I said, you don't actually get to build a um, house on the lakefront, um, but. Uh, I, I did include the beginning uh, in the intro. There's like, you can see where I actually placed the house and that's in uh, Oasis Springs, just um, in one of the lots because there is a uh, river on the back. And it doesn't actually help with um, that lake illusion, but I thought it was just a nice view uh, to have the river running in the background. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I don't have very much to explain for what's going on. I'm just sort of making the boardwalk and the uh, port right now. I'm using a lot of um, earthy tones, a lot of brown colors, um, because it kind of works a little bit better in Oasis Springs, and especially because it is a lake house, I wanted it to be have that, what do you call it, natural? Or, or organic feel to it um, you know it's sort of very outdoorsy um, and it's just sort of like one with nature that sort of thing um, but yeah where was what was I saying um, <laughs> total brain fart moment uh, I do have another let's build in uh, the works right now um, I'm, I, I was trying to build a Atlantean wedding uh, venue and uh, oh, oh right here I was just trying to uh, fix up the color because I was thinking I would go with the the green gooey looking lake water um, because at least up here in Canada when I went whenever we go to a cottage or something uh, the water is never clear like uh, unless it's really shallow. It's usually that dark uh, murky kind of thing. You can't see the bottom uh, even on a bright sunny day. So 
Uh, but then I was like, mm, I don't, I don't know. This is, this is The Sims. It doesn't have to be, <laughs> doesn't have to be completely gross and everything. But um, we ended up just, um, we we do end up changing it back. And uh, so yeah, it, the the house looks okay if you look at it from a very, uh, well, you force the perspective to be not showing the ends of the ports or the little boardwalks. Uh, as soon as you see where they end, it, it really kind of destroys the illusion. So I tried to kind of cover them up a bit with the rocks and stuff like that. But even so, it's, you know, it's the best you can do with what we have. And, uh, oh yeah, um, I had such a hard time with the, the, the colors here. Uh, I'm pretty sure or we might have already passed it, but I changed these column colors like a million times because sometimes the, the tones match, sometimes uh, they don't. Like some objects have um, color uh, options, other things don't. Oh, it just it frustrates me. And then sometimes things do have color, um, like color options, but then they don't match. Like, they have different color options. I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> it's so frustrating. But, uh, yeah, again, going for a lot of wood colors, earth tones, uh, organic stuff. And, uh, oh yeah, this was just after I purchased a whole bunch of stuff back. So I got a little bit carried away. Because uh, if you guys have been watching my gaming weekly um, I actually was mentioning that origin was having a sale uh, called origin 50 where you basically just get a coupon for 50% off on uh, select items and stuff like that and uh, yeah so I picked up a whole bunch of stuff packs and I got a little bit carried away with decorations and things like that and here I am I'm just adding some algae um, the lake nearby my house has so much algae. Uh, the government's been having such an issue. They always send out messages as like, oh, don't dump your sewage. Don't um, uh, make sure you clean up your stuff and uh, don't just throw it in the lake. And uh, when you flush it down the toilet, think about it. Uh, <laughs> think about what you're flushing and stuff like that. But because we kept we kept getting algal blooms and then we also had some uh, I can't remember what it was. Um, I think it's Asian carp. Uh, we studied it in school, uh, but it's an invasive species and basically is just like totally screwing with the ecosystem that's currently there as long along with the algae. Um, so our lake is not doing well. Uh, but um, that's besides the point. Uh, you guys can see that I actually did end up putting in the green water and um, Oh yeah, the, the house I, I just sort of placed down um, as this big rectangular block and um, I didn't end up changing it uh, because I was inspired by, uh, I was watching HGTV and then there was also a news report on lake houses and stuff like that and um, the, the, a lot of those houses are just squares um, and and it makes sense because they're sitting on a lake you can't be too fancy with the shape and things like that and they also have a flat roof because of like whatever um uh weather uh rain and stuff like that is just typical for and uh acceptable to have a flat roof sort of thing the climate there is uh, uh appropriate <coughs> excuse me and uh yeah, and so I was watching like uh, this this uh, news report on how millennials are opting for lake houses because their the prices are getting really close to um, like uh, condos at least in the major cities, and so people are opting for lake houses and uh, <laughs> these are two floor lake houses versus like a one uh, bedroom apartment or condo and it uh people kept saying like apparently there's like no tax or something like that there was there was some reason other reason why people were opting for lake houses and stuff like that um but 
yeah, so I just wanted to build a lake house. And uh, I mentioned earlier that I was making a wedding venue. Uh, I was trying to build an Atlantean underwater ruin um, wedding venue. So there would be a lot of pillars and ruins and uh, it'd be very Greek uh, or Grecian uh, with lots of hanging flowers and vines and things like that. So it'd be a very white and green picturesque uh, venue. But then I got kind of carried away uh, with building a castle. And so I just ended up building a castle. <laughs> but it's not done yet. Um, these builds take surprisingly a long time. Um, uh, thankfully you guys don't have to watch that, it's just uh, I can speed that up for you guys. But, um, like, say I'll start the build at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, since I do share the computer with my brother, um, <laughs> it'll be like 6 o'clock and he's, he's gotten home from work and I'm still plugging away at pl uh, putting down windows and adjusting plants and stuff like that and I'm just like where did the time go like it's it's so uh, it sucks you in and it's it's just so much fun and uh, so and and with this build that I'm doing here I, I really tried to make it um, I was trying to challenge myself to use colors that I don't usually use um, but still keeping it um, you know fairly reasonable um, as well as trying to um, decorate it a little bit more. Like usually I kind of leave it a little bit empty, but uh, since this is a lake house and it is a house, I wanted it to have that sort of uh, lived in feel. Um, and uh, so this lake house, um, uh, you guys probably know uh, Delegracy. Uh, she is a very, very talented Sims uh, player, and she makes stories and um, does Let's Builds. Uh, but if you haven't heard of her, just just check her out or just uh, search her up on YouTube. But uh, she, I can't remember what build it was, but I remember watching one of them, and she says that she likes to make up stories for um, the houses or builds that she makes. And I definitely sort of got what she was saying. Well, I, I didn't have a family in mind when I was making the house, um, but as I started making it, I definitely um, did end up creating this family in mind. Like, um, I imagined this really outdoorsy couple, like uh, one super dorky, uh, outdoorsy dad. He likes to wear um, cargo shorts, uh, a flannel, uh, button up, and uh, he's got a hiking stick, a big hiking knapsack, you know, he's the typical hiker um, with the big brown boots and the wool socks and stuff like that and shorts and mom is like the, the sweetest perfect mom you could think of. She is definitely a housewife um, or at least she, she is very uh, domestic um, and uh, she's very sweet. Uh, she's very loving, very caring, and stuff like that, and she definitely takes care of the house. Uh, she likes things very perfect, uh, and and they are also very educated, uh, hence they can afford this very, very expensive lake house, which is most certainly not a starter home, if that's what you were looking for. This is not it. Um, I think it was like $110,000, um, but uh, along with this lovely couple, they have three rambunctious little children, and um, <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see you later on when we get upstairs, but unfortunately, Quite a bit of that footage um, was deleted, uh, so I will just I will have screenshots, and then um, uh, you won't have to actually watch me build the room, but you'll get to see what the room looks like. But yeah, so uh, perfect couple, uh, and they are also I, I I I this home is not their uh, what would you call it their main home. This is like their vacation home. This is like somewhere where they come to get away from the city or um, wherever they live and just come out for a weekend or a month or two or summer vacation or something like that. And so they usually rent this out, this place out. Um, 
uh, during off seasons and stuff like that or when they're not using it and uh, yeah so um, with that in mind um, the fact that they rented it out I wanted there to be uh, multiple rooms so I wanted there to be more rooms but I ended up having uh, less space than I thought I did um, when I first plopped down the rectangles I didn't uh, uh, the the base foundation of the the house. I didn't realize how big I made it, and I was a little bit worried here. Um, when, once I started coming inside to build, that um, I was gonna I, I had too much room, and especially because I was doing an open concept. Um, I felt like this is gonna be tough to fill in all the space but then it, it, it actually turns out okay I, I do fill it in quite um, quite well at least I think um, and uh, the spacing turned out to be okay but then upstairs gets a little bit uh, packed and uh, but then I thought it was okay because it is in fact a lake house and it's sort of like a vacation home it's it's not gonna have all the perfect amenities and stuff like that and uh, yeah, and, and that, that chair there, that green one, uh, it's one of my favorite pieces because, um, <coughs> oh, my voice, it's got, it, it's like that typical chair, like there's always that one person that sits in that very, um, there's always one chair that is, doesn't match the rest of the furniture, and uh, it's always like the biggest, comfiest chair, and it's that chair. Um, usually, uh, your grandpa or your dad or someone, um, well, someone male will sit in that chair, uh, the head of the household sort of thing. And yeah, but then I actually do end up putting a few more chairs down, and uh, yeah, and 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 then I got kind of carried away with the decorations. Um, I I didn't know, I kind of ended up putting up a lot of bookshelves. <laughs> and a lot of books and so then uh, the story sort of developed from there that the, this couple was like super educated um, the uh, uh, the housewife uh, is not so much of a housewife she's super highly educated you know she is probably a doctor or a surgeon or an astrophysicist or something like that and so is the husband but they do like to get away and spend their time with nature and stuff like that as well as their three children and yeah and then in this corner i make a little book nook a uh, little reading area and yeah and i put down quite a few rugs i do end up adding carpet oh there we go yeah um and again i was trying to use things that i haven't used before um i was trying again trying to keep all the earthy tones and stuff like that but avoid um um using too many of the same colors as well as colors that i always use like i love black and white and neutral tones and stuff like that and i guess earth tones are pretty neutral but uh, i did add in like a few things that could add color um, because then it gets really kind of monotonous and it, it really kind of drags, if you will. Uh, but this was really cool. I, I put the supply closet in there and then the, I could put stick the shower in uh, right next to it. But the only thing is I did not realize <laughs> when I was building this that the toilet is right next to like the, the front porch where the people sit. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, so people can see you while you poop. Um, definitely throw in some curtains. <laughs> I, I totally, totally missed that when, um, uh, when I was building it. But when I was recording the audio just uh, last night, <laughs> I, I, I noticed that. I was like, oh my god. If you were sitting on the toilet, you could look outside <laughs> and they could see you, especially because there's a couch there. <laughs> so definitely you might want to throw some curtains up or get rid of that window. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I 
think we might have missed it. Um, but there is a... In, right at the front, uh, or by the front door, there is a little table? Uh, coffee table? Uh, in the game it's called the coffee table, but I don't know if I would consider it a coffee table. But like, whenever you walk into a house, there's always that... You know, shelf, if you will, where like people throw their keys and hats and mitts and like lip balm and uh, water bottles and stuff. Oh no, we haven't got to it. Yeah, this. This is my favorite thing to do in absolutely every um, build I do for a home. It just, it just looks right, you know. Like having this little uh, table uh, with like all of this random stuff that you've gathered in the house to throw down just right here and uh what was that that was that was like a huge lag spike um but yeah and it just makes it look like it's been lived in you know you know no do you know <laughs> i don't know i could be making things up but uh, i definitely really liked it and then i also threw tried to use some Oh, that was the other thing I was trying to do. I was trying to get away from these uh, saucers, um, these those lights, those round lights, because um, I use them for everything. Because they, honest to God, they light everything up better than anything else I've ever seen. Um, but so I tried to just get away from that, use um, some other floor lamps, desk lamps, and chandeliers and stuff like that, because there's so many items and uh, I should definitely try to use them a little bit more. And uh, I also did add in a lot of paintings and stuff like that. Again, uh, for this couple who is highly educated, I, I figured they were they would also be very cultured. You know, they appreciate art and stuff like that. And uh, so yeah, there's a lot of random artwork. Uh, too bad there isn't a, a few more options for the paintings and stuff like that. Cause like there's that one creepy kid uh, painting that I was gonna use upstairs, but then I end up not doing so. Um, but yeah, I get a little bit carried away with the decorations because I did buy stuff packs and stuff like that. Um, but I, I, I definitely I would not buy those stuff packs um, if they weren't on sale. And also, uh, I haven't got to all of the cast parts that come with those stuff packs, so I'll be really excited to see what happens when, if I make any new characters, if I'm, um, or if I'm just uh, gonna dress up some Sims that I have already. But yeah, so upstairs gets a little bit cramped um, because I do section it off. It has this main hallway that goes to the back. Um, where there's an office, there is a master bedroom with an ensuite, and in this room we have three little kitty beds and um, a nice desk and all their play stuff and stuff like that. Uh, but I definitely went a little bit overboard with the decorations here. Um, there was just so many colors and stuff like that. It made me really happy. It was like, it was just really, really cool. But I'm also super excited about this castle build that's coming up, but it's probably going to have to be like two parts because it just take, took a long time. Um, I, I think I already recorded, recorded like six hours of footage, but we're not even close to finished. Um, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, I think... I think I'm getting better at this building thing. And uh, again, I'm challenging myself to do uh, uh, different things with my builds, you know, try to uh, get out of my comfort zone, le use a little more color, use a little bit more style and stuff like that, add a few more decorations, lighting, stuff like that. And um, yeah, you'll, you'll, you, you probably saw me fidget with that, those memory lights things. A lot because I was trying to get them on top of the mirror because uh, when I was in university a lot of um, a lot of uh, girls used to put photos and stuff on mirrors and stuff like that and so I thought like oh maybe we could do that here but uh, and to add some lighting to the mirror and stuff like that but it didn't work so 
it just ended up sticking it on the wall. And uh, so we, we, we got back here with just some screenshots. Uh, this is the first look when you get up the stairs, uh, because like I mentioned, unfortunately, um, the, the, the recording didn't work. So this is the bedroom. As you can see, I kind of went overboard with the decorations like this, this bedroom wall. I felt like, uh, Maybe we have some gamers up in here. This, these are like League of Legends characters or something like that. Something cartoony. And um, yeah, I definitely really liked the room. It, it it looked like a kid's room. It was very colorful. It was bright and uh, lots of color and stuff like that. And uh, like I mentioned, the, the parents might rent this uh, home out. So uh, singles can sleep here and then couples can sleep in the master bedroom. Uh, but unfortunately, again, uh, there wasn't that much space to put in extra uh, bedrooms. But that's the ensuite bathroom, and uh, this is the very narrow hallway into the uh, master suite. Um, and there are mirrors on the left hand side of the wall that you can't quite see, but here they are now. Uh, so it makes it look like there is more room than there really is. Uh, which helped a lot and there's just that little end table with some perfume lots of mirrors for uh, the the housewife to see how she's looking you know she's a little bit vain and uh, but again big uh, bookshelf um, nice cozy uh, decorated room and of course they have a balcony uh, looking over the river and stuff like that and uh, after they exit the um, their bedroom they can head down to the hallway down that door is the next bathroom and just in the at the end of the hallway uh is this open uh sort of office uh so dad can do some work here that's definitely his chair uh there's definitely his accent pieces and uh, but at the same time with kids you cannot avoid um <laughs> you cannot uh, completely shut them out. So there's that giant teddy bear. There's some egg chairs and stuff like that and a nice bright window. So now we head back outside. Here's a view of the lake house again. Um, it, it looks cool if you look at it from this angle. <laughs> uh, but again, here is the little uh, patio, porch, deck, whatever you want to call it with a barbecue and condiments. Here is a view from the top. And again, uh, I didn't extend the balcony out because uh, realistically, if this was a lake, you would not want to do that just for uh, structural reasons because it's not on uh, hard land. Um, but it, it looks it looks really cool. I gotta say, I, I really liked it. And uh, this is just a view for the front uh, with the front porch area with some seating and a bird feeder. Uh, your view when you first walk in, uh, the perspective's a little bit off. It's not quite as spacious as it looks if you were to walk through. Uh, but here's just another view of the front, uh, which looks super nice with the walk-in closet on the right and the bedroom. Also, uh, the little reading nook with the fancy comfy chairs. Uh, and big green curtains. I really like those curtains. I ended up plopping them down everywhere. And uh, an excessively large TV. You could probably scale that down. Uh, I did scale it up. Um, but I was like, oh, well, if they're entertaining, if, if they rented it out, people would like to have, you know, everyone to gather around the TV. And uh, again, favorite chandelier and that nice boat mantle. Uh, a nice little breakfast eating area uh, if they don't want to all sit at the dining table, which is, you know, that's that's reasonable. Uh, the, there's a shoe rack just exiting to the back. If they had a boat or something or they were going swimming, you'd want somewhere where they can store their dirty wet gear. And uh, I thought this was a cool shot just uh, through the patio doors to the outside with a giant dinosaur in the back. and. Um, Here's a shot of what it would look like if you were sitting under this uh, little lakefront. And uh, so that's it for this week, guys. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Oh, man, I, I really like this build. Uh, I was actually pretty proud of it. That's why I'm posting it. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching as always. I greatly appreciate it and if you would like to leave a like, uh, do so. <laughs> no pressure. If you want to leave a comment, do so. If you want to, no pressure. And again, uh, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, I'd appreciate that as well. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do have a castle build in the works, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So bye bye for now.